Welcome to another video. My name is Amsterdam Comic Geek, aka Michael Minabo. I'm a Dutch journalist and I write about comics. And today I wanted to share with you a story from the original Marvel team up series that's published in this Essential Volume 2. And originally it was Marvel team up number 28. A story by, let's see, Carrie Conway, and Jim Mooney, artist, and Vince Coletta, Vincent Coletta as the inker and the cover is by Gil Kane who also did a lot of wonderful Spider-Man stories back in the day. It's a dramatic cover. It's a story with the amazing Spider-Man and Hercules. The story is called The City Stealers and it's about Spider-Man and Hercules investigating a series of earthquakes in New York. Now, since Manhattan is built on solid bedrock, it's impossible to get earthquakes there. And the two heroes soon find out these guys are drilling a hole in the earth to separate Manhattan Island from the, we from the rest of New York so they can hold it ransom for two billion dollars. And in the end, the bad guys, it's not really explained what they are actually, but there's this guy hiding within the shell of these robotic kind of creatures who are trying to hold New York ransom. But the reason I wanted to show you this is uh, twofold. First of all, I like Jim Mooney's artwork. Um, he did uh, a lot of Spider-Man comics back in the day, Spectacular Spider-Man, especially as an inker. So he inked over John Romita Jr.'s work, for instance, and he also was an artist in his own right. So he has done a lot of work for DC, especially Supergirl, and for, for Marvel he did a lot of Spider-Man stuff and, and other stuff, but he was really a Silver Age artist. And what I like about his work is that it's very functional. It's not it's expressive and it's functional. It's not a style that really jumps out at you like other artists have sometimes, uh, like uh, Todd McFarlane style, for instance. But it's it's very very well done. It's very well craftsmanship, and the story ends with this wonderful illustration of Hercules pulling back Manhattan Island and putting it back in its place. And what I like about it is Hercules, of course, is one of those characters from the public domain that Marvel incorporated into their own mythology, just like Thor, for instance. And uh, we all know Hercules, he was an Olympian god. And as Conway writes here, once a long time ago, the Olympian god performed 12 labors, each more difficult than the last. Yet no mythical labor, save perhaps the time he supported the world itself on his shoulders, can surpass this labor of sheer physical glory. As the noble son of Zeus literally drags Manhattan Island back to its spot in New York Bay. And I think this is like a point where the story becomes very much incredible but the whole premise is of course is a little bit ridiculous so why the hell not but i really liked this illustration by jim mooney with hercules pulling manhattan island and putting it back on the right spot which is also very much in check with the character hercules of course who can share who can carry the world on his shoulders what I also think is very fun is that Hercules is, by today's standards at least, not very PC. The way he thinks about women, for instance, as he says here, Ah, I can feel the fairy ground trembling like a woman in fear, the tremors that come from that direction. And then he's going in the direction of the tremors. With luck, I will settle this matter swiftly and it will still be time this eve for a goblet of wine and some women and a song. So I wonder if Hercules' dialogue is uh, cleaned up in the current comic books of Marvel. I, I don't come across his adventures a lot, so I'm not sure. But you can say that whatever he's saying here, and this is a comic from the late 1970s, 
but by today's standards it's not very PC. It's pretty sexist actually, but it's kind of fun and you can't blame the guy since he's an Olympian god so he comes from a different time and age. So like I said the plot might be a little bit ridiculous. This is not one of Gary Conway's best stories but it's a very fun and entertaining romp. Gary Conway has written a lot of Spider-Man comics in, back in the day. Um, he's of course the guy who wrote about the night Gwen Stacy died but also in the 1980s he did a lot of uh, Spider-Man comics. At one point he wrote the Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man and Web of Spider-Man at the same time. So he was working on two series at the same time. And nowadays he has worked on Renew Your Vows. So he's still in the game. Jim Mooney, however, is not. He sadly passed away in 2008 at the age of 88. But I'd say this wonderful illustration is one of the classics and I really like how Mooney has drawn Hercules here. The power of Hercules which is enormous. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.